In this video, we will be learning how we can send mails to our user using SMTP from our Flutter application. Here I am having a very simple UI that has three text editing controllers. I am linking all of them with three different text form fields where we will ask the user to input the data and then we have three elevated button to send mail from different email service provider and we are also having a form key that we'll be using for text form field validations for sending mails to our client from our flutter application we'll be requiring some packages first one is the mailer package that we'll be using for sending mails using SMTP from our Flutter app and the another one is flutter.vnv that we'll be using for hiding our secret keys. Open the terminal and type flutter uh, add mailer and flutter underscore dot env. It will install all the dependencies and verify with your perspect.yml file that all dependencies are added or not. So here we are creating a dot env file and we need to also tell our pubspec file that an asset exists named .env. So here we need to use assets. We need to tell that the file name is .env. Now just save it. And we also don't want to publicly leak our secret keys. For that reason, we are mentioning .env inside git ignore. Now we need to access the values from the environment variables to our application. For that, first we need to initialize the .env package. So here, first make this main function async and then we'll use await .env.load and here the file name is .env. We need to import the flutter.env package. Now this, in this way, we are just loading the file and now we can access all the variables that will be there inside the .env file. So for sending mails using Gmail, you will be requiring the email address and a app password. For generating an app password for Gmail, you will be requiring to visit this site myaccount.google.com slash app passwords. So if your page is not looking like this, it means that you have not enabled two-step verification on your Gmail account. So it might look like this if you have not enabled two-step verification on your account. This is the account that doesn't have two-step verification enabled. So app passwords option is showing like this. And this is the account that has two-step verification enabled. So I'm getting the option to create a new app password. For enabling two-step verification, you need to visit the website myaccount.google.com and from there, just scroll down and find the two-step verification option. Click there and from here you can turn on two-step verification. So let us give a app name. Let's name it as send mail flutter app. You can name it anything and click on create. Here you will be getting a 16 digit password. Just copy it. Inside our .env file, we will be creating a variable like gmail underscore password and we'll paste the 16 digit code and here we'll write the gmail gmail mail the email address where you have generated the app password now after you have created two variables inside dot env file now we need to access those inside our application so for that now here we'll be requiring to create an smtp server first you will be creating a final gmail smtp variable where we'll be calling this gmail function it will be from gmail.dart it will be from mailer package import it and here we need to provide the username and password since our username and password are inside .env file so we need to use flutter.env package to import them first one will be .env dot env and the key was gmail mail and second one was the password dot env dot env gmail underscore password this was the key that we have specified in the environment variable and here the value will be stored we need to import the dot env package 
and now here we have created a function for creating SMTP server here we are going to write the function that will be calling to send a text to send a mail to the user using SMTP so here we are writing a function named send mail from gmail here we are expecting string of sender mail subject of email and the text content so here we will create a message variable that where we are importing message this message is from mailer.dart and then we are adding form address like our address here we are adding our mail address and then recipient to whom we will be sending the mail subject the subject of the mail and the text and we will be using try catch to handle any exceptions here we are creating a variable send report where we are using await send here we need to specify the message and the SMTP server and the timeout that is optional. So here we are passing the message that will be getting from the text form field input and the Gmail SMTP server that we have created and then we will print that message is sent else in case of mail exception we will first print message not sent and all the problems that has occurred when message is not sent. And now when we press this button to send mail from Gmail, here first we need to validate our text form field, like all text form fields are filled or not. So here we'll use form 3 dot current state null check and validate. If you press this button and our text form field is unfilled, it will give us this error that cannot be empty. Now here we are only validating it. Validation is working correctly. If we press this button, we need to call this function send mail from gmail and pass the text controllers. So here we'll use send mail from gmail. Sender was inside sender controller. Sender was inside recipient controller dot text. Subject was inside subject controller dot text. And text content was inside content content controller dot text now let's add a email and let's add a subject hi this is a test mail it means it is working now if we click on this button send mail from gmail here we are getting an error because this will be gmail underscore mail not gmail underscore email so let's modify and retry again now if we press on send mail from gmail printing message saying successfully and also close the connection now let's verify yes so message is arriving from gmail and also for other mail providers it will be similar we need to first create an outlook smtp variable and then call hotmail and pass the outlook email and outlook password this way we will be creating the SMTP and we need to also create the function we are going to be calling for sending the mail using SMTP it will be totally similar to the previous song only the email and the SMTP server will be changing and we need to also provide the email and password in our environment variables just add the email and password add a validation check instead of send mail from gmail it will be send a mail from outlook rest all the steps will be same let's try to send from outlook here we are also getting mail sent now if we test here we have received a mail from outlook for yandex you will be requiring to create an app password for using smtp the original password will not work for yandex we'll create an smtp variable and import this yandex from yandex.dart you will need to pass the yandex email and yandex password variable and also similar to this too we need to create a function where we'll expect the text form text editing controllers and send the message using yandex smtp and after this when the user press this button 
we need to send this mail using Yandex. Now in case of Yandex, you need to go to security and from here create an app password. This will be for SMTP so select this option and you need to provide a name. This will be for send mail flutter. Click on next. You will get the password. This is the app password that will be requiring for sending mail using SMP. Just copy this and paste it here. Now let us try to send it from Yandex. So you can see that it's showing message sent successful. If you verify, we have also received the mail from the Yandex SMTP. That's all for this video. If you like this video, make sure to like it and subscribe for more upcoming videos. Thanks for watching.